Hi, my name is Greg Palumbo. I'm the executive director of the Cuyahoga County Soldiers and Sailors Monument. We are a monument to Civil War veterans. We were dedicated July 4th, 1894, almost 30 years after the Civil War. Underneath the monument, we have tunnels. People often ask us, are they connected to other tunnels? Where can I go to with those tunnels? What were they used for? Why are they there? We open the tunnels once a year, and we call those our tunnel tours. I think why people really like the tunnels is it's first something you don't get to see all the time. The tunnels were actually built in the construction of the monument, and they only go around the base of the monument. So follow me, it's very tight. So this is the entrance to the tunnels. As you come through, you'll see low archways. We've got to make sure that we duck. As we come through, we've run into our first statue. So this is the statue on our east side, the artillery statue. We have two types of tunnels that run underneath the monument. Under the outside, that we have tunnels that hold up the decking, and they're made of archways and walls. So we have walls, and then the arch holds up every seam of the big stone slabs that make up our, what we call the upper esplanade. So we have those that make these concentric circles around the outside of the monument. And then we have what's called, uh, we, we call our inner tunnels, and they're made of barrel vaults. Of, that's a Roman-style vault that is an archway that pushes onto a thin wall that pushes onto the next archway. And that holds up everything we see on the inside of the monument. This is the side of the statuary, which if you went to pace it off, is a lot larger than the statue itself. It's holding up not only the statue, but the edge of the decking next to the statue. So we get a lot of those questions. Was it part of the Underground Railroad? No. The Underground Railroad was during the Civil War, and we were built about 30 years after. There's also all kinds of ghost stories that we've never really been able to have anything that would relate to that. This is one of the mysteries in the tunnel. This is the ladder to nowhere. It may have been used during the construction of the monument before the decking was actually put on so that guys could get up and down from this point. It also may have been used uh, instead of our steps, which we feel were added a little bit later. It is rusting away slowly, but uh, we're not really sure. If you can tell us why it's there, we'd love to know. So that's a lot of the intrigue as to getting down in there to see something that people don't normally get to see. A lot of those different uh, myths or legends, those are the things that draw people in and then we hope that they'll learn a little bit about the engineering of the monument and a little bit about what we're here to honor, which are our men on the walls. <laughs>